Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to the 6 Archive. So what we're doing here today is we're archiving the Road to SI 2020 event. The idea with this whole series is to try and archive some of the memories or some of the stuff that disappears because of course these events do not repeat, as of yet anyway. And even if they do repeat, it'll be for a short amount of time. So I want to try and capture as much as I can off them. Now of course YouTube's filled with gameplay videos out there, but this is all about kind of archiving the specific kind of special things about these events. So this is going to be the intros and outros from the Road to SI 2020 event and it's all voiced by Harry because I thought it'd be pretty sweet to capture as many of these as I could. Now it was certainly not easy to capture all of these because first of all there's a lot. There is an absolute ton of operators just in general but there's also more than one for some of the operators. So about three weeks into recording all of this, I was like, wait a minute, I've not heard that intro for Mira, and it ended up there was a second one for Mira, and I found some second ones for other operators as well. And also getting the outros was a pain in the ass, because it seemed to bug out, where at least half of the time, there was just no outro audio, and I tried that on PC and Xbox, and they both had the same issue, so it was right pain in the butt to try and record as much as I could. But I think I got most of the intros, and a good chunk of the outros. So let me know in the comments below if there's any that you've heard Harry say that aren't actually in this video. Now we're gonna start with the intros first. What I've done is record these on a mix of Xbox and PC. I've also left the text chat on for PC because you might get a little bit of a laugh out of what people are saying at the end of games. And also of course names of players so you might just see your own name here in this video. And yeah, hopefully this is just kind of a nice archive of this event and I'm hoping to do this for future events as well. So anyway, let's get on to the intros and I'm actually going to start with a bonus one because this comes from data mining because you just cannot actually get this one in game because you cannot pick recruit. However, there is an audio line for the recruit and it's this. Versatility is the aim of the recruit. Able to take on any role. They are the consummate wildcard. So of course you can't pick recruits, so I don't think there's any way to actually get that in game. Presumably he also has an outro as well, but I haven't heard it. Anyway, here are Harry's intros. Gridlock's track stingers perform especially well in any situation where delaying the enemy is paramount. Flash's ability to repel and slow enemies is of enormous benefit to both herself and her team. Finding the least used path and destroying enemy devices is second nature to Specialist Maverick. Few operators can roam as effectively as Kavera, whose silent step remains unmatched. Dexterous and difficult to pin down, Mozzie's presence pervades whatever operation he's included in. Thermite's understanding of explosives makes him an invaluable asset, and he has the scars to prove it. Jaeger's worrying tendency to ignore incoming projectiles is mitigated by the positive morale his presence conveys. Deadly at both short and long range, Legion's ability to synergize with other operators is legendary. Castle takes his role as a team's protector seriously, though optimal placement requires some finesse. Few operators are better suited to team support than Finca, yet she is also a formidable opponent in her own right. Nomad's preference for non-lethal deterrence in no way means she is ill-equipped to eliminate opponents. With the ability to fool enemies into giving away their position, Alibi is an operator with great utility. Denial of access to objectives is vital when all other defenses have failed, which is where smoke comes in. Cabana's destructive power is phenomenal especially with regards to opening vertical sightlines. Delightfully archaic in his approach and equipment, Tachenka's support can be the key to victory. Doc's ability to mitigate errors is greatly appreciated by his team, while his very presence inspires confidence. The conceptualization of 3D spaces were my strength, though careful placement of the magnet is a priority. Capitao's ability to control the field is exceptional, though he must be wary of ally placement at all times. 
Dokaebi's ability to gather intel on enemy positions can be deadly when employed at opportune moments. Detecting enemy devices is where IQ excels, though some operators can escape her notice entirely. Specialist Nock's reputation precedes her, though few are able to predict where or when she will appear. Specialist Ash isn't an opponent to take lightly, nor is she one to begin an engagement quietly. Communication between Ash and her teammates will be vital if they're to succeed. A master of tracking, Jackal excels in paralyzing his prey long enough for his teammates to join the hunt. Protector who stands against flashes or smoke, Warden's quick thinking has saved many a VIP. Perfectionism is the enemy of good, which advice Specialist Mira can hopefully take to heart. Specialist Mira remains one of our most reliable operators, even though she's frequently barred from the field. Content to keep an eye on events from a distance, Echo is invaluable as a source of enemy intel. Invisible to cameras and drones alike, Vigil's extraordinary patience has led to many hard-won successes. Never one to miss a scrap of information, Maestro's only weakness may be his fondness for theatrics. Using her shock drones to create chaos in the field from afar, Twitch is an elusive opponent. No stranger to the vagaries of fate, Frost uses the unexpected to turn the tables on her enemies. Kali's utility cannot be overstated, especially with regards to the disruption she brings to the field. Valkyrie's expertise with increased surveillance renders her invaluable in any defensive operation. A humanitarian at heart, Pulse nevertheless puts the safety of his allies over his personal morality. Whether roaming or placing her minds, Ella often carries out her tasks with an artist's eye for detail. Indistinguishable from a regular deployable shield, Goyo's Volcan acts as both deterrent and bluff. My attempts to lift the caver have left me with a distinct impression that Sledge is a force to be reckoned with. Much like his namesake, Thatcher isn't one to spook easily nor will he be deterred from his chosen angle of approach. Laying down covering fire is where Blackbeard excels, but team coordination will be paramount. A foil for the unwary, Capcan's ability to ensnare his enemies makes every approach a gamble. Able to cover a wide array of approaches, Glass is a vital addition during any breaching operation. Protecting the team is a role Montaigne takes seriously, and it's one at which he frequently excels. Amaru's maneuverability and unpredictable placement can cause enemies to falter during time-tested strategies. A proponent of both destruction and concussion, Sophia's presence is sure to make its mark. Never want to shy away from shortcuts, Buck is bound to find creative approaches that challenge expectations. Understated yet vital, Mute is a key component in making sure reinforced walls stay that way. A practice practitioner of disruption and denial, Views is sure to be at the heart of the action. An operator who excels at securing reinforcements, Bandit has more than a few tricks up his sleeve. Content to keep an eye on events from a distance, Echo is invaluable as a source of enemy intel. Laying down covering fire is where Blackbeard excels, but team coordination will be paramount. All right, guys, that's all the intros by Harry. We're now going to move on to the outros. But before that, let me know which intros I'm actually missing because I know that I'm definitely missing some of them, but I just could not get Harry to say them. 
and when it comes to the outros i have less i, I still have a freaking lot there's a lot of clips but uh, i definitely miss a lot as well so quote in the comments below if you know what harry says for different operators if there's different variations and uh, just let me know as much details as you know about for this event because like i say i tried to capture as much as i possibly could but uh, it's just you know a big chunk of it is random but hopefully i got a majority of them Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed watching, here is the outros. Subtle use of welcome mats can deal a crippling blow to an unprepared enemy, on which Frost is quick to capitalise. Skeleton Key shows that surprise is a significant factor when determining operator outcomes. Capturing and repurposing drones is key to Mozzie's defensive strategy, and it's one he employs with panache. Strategic use of the Stim Pistol has been correlated with positive operator outcomes, including Team Victory. Optimal placement of Krem breaching rounds was clearly indicated in the team's success, as was operator lethality. The damage and intel provided by accurately placed goo mines proved invaluable for team cohesion. Striking terror into the hearts of your enemies is half the battle, as Kavira well knows. Crude electrical devices, when deployed with maximum efficiency, can be devastating for enemy tactics. Knowing where and when to strike is crucial which is why the Logic Bomb is such an exceptional tool. Team coordination and outstanding placement of brimstone charges were crucial to the team's success. Surrey's silent destruction enables seasoned operators to sneak up on their enemies with ease. The signal disruptor's ability to frustrate enemy advances is precisely why this device comes so highly recommended. The explosive concussion of Ella's mines is enough to throw even experienced operators into disarray. The magpie is but a part of Jaeger's appeal. The other is his unwelcome ability to take his enemies by surprise. Capcan's entry denial device is a potent counter to operators who may otherwise approach in silence. Confusion generated by the Prisma system is but one tool in Alibi's overwhelming arsenal. The ultimate team player, Rook's Rhino Armor excels at keeping allies on their feet and in the fight. A well-placed electro clock can derail the enemy's best laid plans, especially when combined with Cade's lethality. The Universal Tactical Panel is an underrated tool for adding precious seconds to the enemy's approach. The capability to control and redirect enemy movement within enclosed spaces is but one of Zofia's specialties.
Defensive plays using the Black Mirror corresponded closely with enemy dislocation and rapid defeat. Judicial application of the cardiac sensor enables Pulse to neutralize enemies with startling ease. Tachenka stands apart as an operator who commits to a course of action that others may consider foolish. The OTS-03, in Glass's hands, becomes something more than a weapon and nothing less than a work of art. Capturing and accurately turning enemy projectiles on their owners is where Specialist Wamai stands out. Defending against a foe who can find and disable your traps is nigh impossible, as IQ's performance indicates. Enabling other operators to do their jobs in no way detracts from Kali's ability to dominate the field. Strategic use of the rifle shield conveys a significant advantage when engaging the enemy. Denying intel and being where the enemy least expects are skills which Specialist Knock puts to good use. The ERC-7 is a temperamental device which Vigil employs with an ease born of long association. Crude electrical devices, when deployed with maximum efficiency, can be devastating for enemy tactics. Fuses methods may be divisive, but there's no denying their force or efficacy. The EE-1D is an oppressive tool whose intelligence gathering capabilities can't be matched. The candela can be deadly when combined with other devices, which is where Ying's mastery becomes apparent. Knowing the location of your enemy is only half the battle. Knowing what they'll do next is Jackal's specialty. 